So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this trippy eye bulging effect that you might have seen in previous music videos before. So I thought I might as well showcase it today here on the channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button. Let's get 50 likes on this video. And lastly, if you are interested in any digital LUTs for your footage, make sure you go to the link in the description. They are available now. It helps out with the channel and keeps me posting consistently. But without further ado, let's dive into this effect. So make sure you have your footage ready with the clip that you want to do this effect on. So with today's video, I'm going with Cole Bennett's, one that he directed last year. It's very cold. And basically, you want to use a video where, or a clip where they're quite close to the camera because this is going to make the eyes look very effective using this effect. So that's his personal preference, but I would suggest doing that. Now, the first thing you want to do is, is mark your in and out points on where you want the effect to come in and where you want the effect to end. So in today's one, we're, we want the effect to come in right here. So we're going to do control shift D on the keyboard, which is going to split the layer. And we're going to do the same on where we want it to end, which is right there. Control shift D. Okay. Now this is our layer right here. Okay. Let's now go to our effects panel and go to bulge. Add this onto your layer and rename this to left because this is going to be our left eye. We're going to change the horizontal radius to 75, same for the vertical. We're going to change the taper radius to 4.5 and we're going to change the height to 2.5. Okay, now I'm going to drag that onto your left eye and we're going to do the same thing for the right eye. So now you can see the effect is coming together, but of course these points are not tracked. Make sure you have your layer highlighted, go to tracker and go to track motion. So for the first track point, we want it to go on our left eye and we basically want to make this a little bit bigger and make the square in the middle just a tad bigger as well and make sure it's on the middle of the eye. And what you can do is you can do this frame by frame to track the left eye, but I'm just going to click play and hopefully we should get a good track of the eye there. And just like so, you can see we have a nice track. Excellent. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to click on edit target and we're going to go to effect point control and we're going to change it to left bulge ascend. Click OK. So now that when we do this, we're going to be able to have our effect. So as you can see, our left eye is now tracked with the bulge. Click on this layer again. I'm going to go to track motion. And we're going to go to our right eye here, make this a tad bigger, make that a little bit bigger, say around there is kind of where we want it. And we're just going to track this from the beginning. Let's just move that there. And let's move it a tad and click play. So that should track nicely, as you can see, and do the same thing. I'm going to go to edit target effect point control and change it to the right bulge. Click OK and click apply. So now when we watch it back, we have two bulgy eyes. OK, now you can see right at the end there, because I've done this all automatically, you can see that right here, there was a small movement of where our effect on the left eye did move. But all you got to do is, is just move it back in position. If we watch it back, we can officially see that we have tracked both of the eyes with the effect. But I look at this and I feel like, you know what, we can actually do some more with this effect to make it a lot more better. So we're going to go to the start of our clip right here and we're going to make the eyes kind of pop into frame. So we're going to go to the bulge height here. We're going to click the keyframe button and we're going to go to zero, start it there. And we're going to go around, I'd say there. I'm going to put 2.5 again. So let's watch that back. Yeah, that's much better. So we're going to do the same thing for the left eye. So when we watch it back, you can see the eyes slowly popping, which is pretty nice. I mean, it depends on the way you want it. I just like the way this looks. And lastly, with this effect, we're going to add some transform onto this. So we're going to go to scale 
and we're gonna do it around I'd say here just before the eyes kind of pop in and then once the eyes pop in we're gonna zoom in around here but what I want to do is I want to keyframe the position as well so we can kind of center this and maybe move this up a little bit around there maybe zoom in a tad more I'd say around there and keyframe our position here as well and reset that so that we're back in frame I'd say yeah zoom in there and then when he smiles here we'll add another keyframe and just as he smiles again there we will reset our keyframe and highlight all of these and F9 them to easy eat them so then now when we watch this back it's got a nice zoom in, zoom out effect. Last thing I forgot to add all my days is the motion blur. You can't forget motion blur. That has just made the effect 10 times better. I love the way that looks. But listen, man, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Let's get 50 likes on this video. It would be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And lastly, if you want to support the channel any further, Make sure you go to the link in my description where you can get access to my new LUTs. That would be much appreciated. Thank you to everyone who's purchased so far. And I'm out, man. Peace.